What's up guys? So yeah, I wanted to take today and show off my homemade bullet drill. Uh, I saw a ton of videos on YouTube of guys, you know, making one out of metal. You shoot into, you know, a little 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 area. And then it, you know, slowly gets smaller. Uh, the bullet travels and then it hits a metal tube and spins around and disintegrates in there. Um, thing is, I don't have a welder, and even if I had a welder, I wouldn't trust myself. So, but what I do have is tons of old plywood and little pieces of 2x4. So, all I did is I took 2x4 frame, just real simple. These pieces on top are actually just put on so I can screw down the top better. That thing is started to work loose over the years. Uh, this thing is at least five years old, if not older. Um, when I bring it out to the range, I bring it out there on a hand truck. I lay the hand truck on its side and I put this, you know, on top of the hand truck and I shoot it. Uh, don't make fun of my grouping. That was, uh, well, whatever. Good enough for deer, right? Uh, anyways, um, I've already cleaned this thing out for the winter time, but all I put on the inside is just rubber mulch and it does a fantastic job at stopping the bullets these i think those must be 308 bullets that i shot into there probably with my 308 winchester uh 45 you know the lead bullets actually they don't really well out of a handgun i suppose they don't have the velocity but they don't really deform so it's kind of nice you're getting almost all of your lead back full metal jacket you can see uh, nine mil here that I shot into there and I'm guessing 308 that hit another bullet and 308 now I shoot this thing with pretty much any caliber under the sun and it stops all of them the only caliber and I mean I shoot it up to a 338 ultra mag and it'll stop it uh, in that short amount of distance um, if I remember right, it's 14 inches deep. It might be 16 inches deep, but anyways, it stops all bullets except for 300 blackout. And I think it doesn't, I've shot this thing with some 125 grain SSTs out of a 300 blackout. And they were only doing about 1800 feet per second. And that bullet just held together and it shot right through. It was the weirdest thing ever. I've shot it with 308. Uh, 300 mag, 270 Winchester, 30 odd six, 338 ultra mag, 300 ultra mag, 7 mm Remington Magnum. It stops them all. Nine millimeter, 45, 357 mag, 357 uh, sig, 40 Smith and Wesson. Literally stops everything. Will not stop 300 blackout. So I don't shoot it with a 125 grain SST. I don't know if it was just those bullets. Uh, I suppose a guy should test it, but yeah, I've shot it with um, 300 blackout with like 150 grain soft point. Stops those just fine. But uh, I think I replaced the back. Yeah. No, you can see where one of the 300 blackouts came through and another one right down here. So yeah, that's literally the only thing that is ever made its way through this and I mean all I did in the front to hang the targets for a couple years I was putting staples into it and it ended up making it so it was impossible for a staple to grab so I just threw a piece of OSB on top of the plywood and then I mounted uh, I took those off old clipboards that were broken and you know I shoot this thing a ton during the spring summer and fall and the mulch really never falls out or if it does start falling out at the range I just throw a layer of duct tape on it and keep shooting uh, usually I can leave all my bullets in there that I shoot spring summer and fall and then right before winter time comes I clean it all out and the following spring I melt all those down and you know, recast them into handgun ammo uh, yeah anyways that's some guys might like seeing this have a good day.